Budgie had just completed his second delivery of the day to the Black Rock Lighthouse, and he wasn't feeling too happy. Mm, I'm fed up with this, Snowy. Why can't we have some interesting work? Like, like skywriting or searching for sunken ships? Hmm, I wonder what they're for. Hey, Pippa, what are those things? They can't be kites. They are, Budgie, just like the ones Ben and Lucy play with but a hundred times bigger. Yes, they have to be, so everyone can see them from the beach when they fly there at the weekend. There'll be words and pictures on their tails. It's called advertising. Wow, advertising. I bet I could do that. Well, I'm off. See you later. Mike, Mike, are you there? Give us a hand, Mike. Mike? Mike, where are you? Oh, hi, Ken. Did you hear someone calling me? It was me. This frame for chalk should have been finished an hour ago. Oh, sorry, Ken. I was just fixing a puncture on Lucy's bike. They're cycling to the beach at the weekend. Well, Chuck should be going to the beach at the weekend, too. But he won't be if you don't give me a hand. OK, Ken, OK. Could be a tricky business. No, it should be fun. It'll be like a flying circus. No, Chuck, no room for showing off with those kites. Too big. Can't see who's behind them. Ah, Budgie. Hello, Lionel. Pippa says there's an advertising job. I bet I'd be very good at advertising. Sorry, Budgie. Ken's made the harness for Chuck. It's his job. Anyway, Budgie, Control has a package that needs delivering to Wieldham. Important job. All right. All right, Lionel. It's not fair, Snowy. I could do that advertising job, but they won't give me a chance. Hey, I wonder what that is. It looks like a big tent. I am not a tent. I'm Arthur, the airship. All oh, right. That is the reason they brought me here. To make me into a tent. Well, that could be nice. They'll use you for garden fates and wedding parties. Nice? I'm a flying machine. I should fly. Oh, sorry. But... I'm sure there's something we can do about it. I don't like it. The wind is gusting. Unpredictable. Relax, Lionel. A good strong breeze could unbalance those kites. Be careful. Seems a bit silly, using a helicopter to fly a kite. Kites can fly by themselves. Yes, but they only go when the wind blows. Advertisers won't pay for that. But they'll pay for Chuck to fly up and down all day. They will, because everyone at the beach will see their message. something wrong. What do you make of it, Mike? Whoa! Hi! Hi! Whoa! Lionel, Chuck, are you reading me? I sure am, Lionel. And I got problems up here. Nothing seems to work. Now, this has gone far enough. Get down to ground level. Anything you say, Captain. You're the boss. Stand by. Hey, you may think I'm kidding, but I can't dive either. Mike! Mike! Call the emergency service! We've got a problem! Where are you going? 
to talk to control. No one told me I was sending Chuck up with a pair of crazy stunt kites. Lionel's Chuck, I'm on my way, old chap. I promise you, uh, Arthur, if anyone can help, it's Ken Wrench. He understands anything that flies, honestly. I do hope so. I'm a little too old for all this gadding about. There you are, Arthur. You see? Go. Oh, we can do it. What on earth are you doing, Budgie? Oh, hi, Pippa. This is Arthur the airship. He's coming back with me to Harefield. Oh, uh, hello, Arthur. Nice to meet you. You'll need a lot of space for landing, Budgie. I'll go on to Harefield and check out the runway. See, Arthur? There'll be a big welcome at Harefield when we get there. Serious damage. He'll be all right. Oh, great. But he won't he won't be able to do the advertising job now, will he, Lionel? No, Budgie, he won't, and neither will you. No one goes up with those kites again. Not from Harefield. Too dangerous. Oh, but Lionel, I have an idea. I could The answer is no, Budgie. Anyway, the kites are broken. Where the dickens did this come from? I don't know, man. It's an airship. Old and worn out. But it just might be useful. I'm going to work on the engine. You see if you can't reinflate it. You mean pump it up? Oh, you can't be serious. Of course I'm serious. Jump to it. I don't know. This will take a miracle. What do you mean, two weeks? Yes, yes, I know it's a museum piece, but... OK, OK. Send the parts as soon as you can. Thanks. At least the helium is available. What are you doing? That's no way to fill an airship. This is the stuff you need. Helium, lighter than air. You mean you don't put air in airships? Of course not. You don't put cats in catapults, do you? <laughs> there, take that and get going. Believe me, Lionel, it would work. I know that it would. I'm not so certain, Budgie. Tricky things, airships. Almost as bad as kites. But when it's pumped up again, I'll be able to make it fly easily. Mm. Visibility factor is certainly high. Maybe you have something there, Budgie. Suddenly as Budgie, that's so good to see the folk enjoying themselves. And they can see us, Arthur, and there must be thousands of them. I'll tell you what I like best of all, Budgie, working and flying. Now, tell the truth, I never thought I'd fly again. Congratulations, you chaps. Found a whole new career for yourself, eh, Arthur? Yes, I have, Lionel. And I tell you, it's all thanks to Budgie. Without him, 
I'd have just been a very big tent by now. Well, without you, Arthur, I'd never have had a chance to do a job like that. So, until you get your new engine, we're partners. Budgie and the airship are back, Chuck. They did a great job. Well done, Budgie. Thanks, Pippa, but it was easy with Arthur. I couldn't have done it with those rotten kites. Kites? Who said kites? Where are they? Don't let them see me. Don't let them near me. <laughs> it's okay, Chuck. I didn't see kites. I only said kites. You don't have to worry about the kites, Chuck. The kites are gone. Kites? Kites? Don't keep talking about kites. I hate kites. Never mind, Chuck. You'll be all right tomorrow. Thank you.